Oh What's up, True Feelings family, and welcome back to my channel if you are new. As I say, I do not do long intros, so let's just get right into this damn video. Now, I don't know about y'all, I was surprised how Danielle's parents reacted to meeting Roberta for the first time. Like, That shit had me emotional. I was almost crying with their ass. I said, why the hell am I crying? I guess it was my menopause acting up. But that shit had me a little teary-eyed too. Because that's the really shit TLC has ever shown on their damn show. I really felt a connection from Roberta that I wasn't expecting. Although I feel like daddy was hugging her a little bit too tight and too oh. long though. Before we go on, watch Roberta's mama move his hand away from hers. Did anybody catch that? Anybody notice besides me? It looked like Roberta lost weight and she had the vid, so that's probably why she lost weight. She lost she looked like she lost a good 15 pounds from the last time that that we saw her ass. Now I know where Danielle get that damn uh nervous laugh from that she does all the damn time. Uh, her mother has the same damn thing. She got the same nervous laugh when she was telling Jan, uh, telling Danielle she could do that shit because it was her. She'd I like that you can have a relationship like that and not be jealous because I think I would be jealous. <laughs> Danielle is jealous too. That's why she had that little as jealous laugh that she always have when she's agreeing to something, but really don't want to agree to it. But Let's have a drink. Okay, so this is the baby maker. She's just got to laugh it off like she does. And she said that she does shit like that. Now, when Roberta came out, I know you guys laughed at that scene and I know you guys caught the same shit that I caught. Roberta came out and she took that damn... Uh, what is that? She took that damn cover off. Cover off. Yeah. Now on the damn television, this shit goes fast. But I want you to look at Daddy's eyes. He went to the side and down. He was like, "Damn." Daddy was looking like, "Oh shit, you got an old aunt I fuck with somebody." Danielle was like, you know what, screw this. My ass been working out too. Let me take my shit off. And she took her shit off and her daddy looked at her. Did you see the father? The father's reaction was funny. Because he was like, girl, don't say you ain't jealous. Because I just watched what you did when she took off her shit and you took off your shit. So he was just like, damn. But at least it took Papa's eyes off of Bert for a minute. Because he sure was looking like, damn. Did anybody catch the look, the after look Roberta gave Danielle after that? I'm going to show you. I got a lot of slow motions for you. Now watch this shit in slow motion. I want you to see everybody's face. Daddy is like, wait a minute, girl. I see what you're doing here. I think I know you are jealous of him. Look at him. He's so not knowing what to do. He's so uncomfortable. Now, watch Garrett's face. He's coming up. Garrett looked at Danielle like he was so pissed that she was trying to upshow his new wife. Now, look at Roberta. She looks mama laughing we gonna go back to Roberta come on now go back she looks and watch this little smirk like ha ah, did you see that shit that shit had me cracking up I wanted y'all to share the moment with me Ooh, she got a little mm, twitch to her when she looked at her I tell you what though I have a beach party to go to next week I ain't gonna look like that. My cover up gonna stay fuck cover up. In fact, I'm old. I don't know. Is anybody like me? I'm old. I wear my panties and bra under my bathing suit. That's how I, I just can't do it without it. I, I, I have to. But looking at their bodies, I need to fucking go work out and try to find my clavicus again. Okay, the best part ever. 
when Danielle's mom asked that boy was he ready for a commitment I said blink is he about to kill her mama are you sure you're all out of boys are you sure you're all out of boys are you sure you're all on board with it oh yeah yeah 100% it would be hard to have a baby her being so far away and you're not being able to see him that's true that's true but you know god will work through anything but once you get back to Colorado, I mean, how will that be? I mean, do you think that'll work out well, or? What's wrong with that muscle? He totally, he totally went catatonic on her ass. Totally, he was like, yeah, what? It's like, what are you saying? Why are you saying this to me? I'm put your ass under the porch with Danielle if you don't shut the fuck up. What do you mean I'm ready? Like, he just stopped breathing and blinking all at once. Something wrong with that boy. There's something wrong with him. He has some weird ass ways. I don't even think they should have a damn baby together. They may have a damn omen. So we're praying that God blessed it and they and the sperm united and God made it start growing. It's like, don't have no baby with that boy. Y'all don't think you're going to get a good seed because he is an evil ass man. He evil. He weird evil. All that little soft talk and he, that, that, he don't fucking blink. That shit. I'm disturbed by him. I'm telling you, I'm disturbed by him. Danielle, don't go on a boat trip with him by yourself. Your ass might come up missing. You know, you know how they always want to go camping and fishing and shit. Next thing you know, I lost my wife. I don't know where the hell she at. We hear them stories all the time. And what I read in Colorado, the rate of wives being murdered by their husbands is pretty fucking high up there. Look that shit up. <laughs> Can we all agree Danielle just say some really stupid shit? She really stays super shit. I'm not going to try to use the F word with this. But how does she think that what she is sacrificing, she's sacrificing her emotions, her housing. Like we don't know what she gave up in this divorce. So she can put her emotions on hold? No, that's not how it's supposed to be, girl. You sound delusional. You more delusional than your damn husband. So I guess you guys belong together because you guys got yourself believing in some really dumb shit. Because I don't believe she said this shit. I can't sacrifices and choices for the happiness of the other person. And so I think any choice of moving forward is I'm thinking of the happiness of Garrick and Roberta and putting my feelings aside because ultimately this is about their relationship. Alright, this shit don't make sense to me. It don't make sense to me. She's delusional. She's freaking delusional. She really is. It's like you mean you sacrificing for people you love. What is he doing for her? He don't barely want to touch her ass and she's sacrificing her Please, he don't give two shits about her. When he going to sacrifice some shit? Because right now, he putting everything on the Lord and the leaning and the understanding of the Lord. And even the father didn't believe that bullshit when he started bringing up the Lord. He's like, mm, mm he really wanted to say, I don't want to hear anything about the Lord. What you going to do? What's your plan? What you got going on? Because he sure tried to throw Jesus in there. Every episode, he throw the Lord in there. Like the Lord said, keep his name out your mouth, uh, Gary, because you ain't nothing but a heathen and a lustful demon. That's what you are, a heathen and a lustful demon. That's all you are. And you need to blink, you dirty bastard. That's what he is, is a dirty bastard. I can't stand you, Gary. No one likes you. You're an asshole. Like, no one likes you. Nobody likes you. Now, I was wondering when daddy was going to get his ass together and say something on behalf of his daughter. Because like I said, my daddy wouldn't have went for that shit. So I'm glad he got his ass together, sat him down and let him know, don't be treating my daughter second. Don't do that shit. First of all, you wouldn't even be able to do this shit if it wasn't for her divorcing your silly ass. Right with her now, dumb priorities seem to be making this work with Roberta no matter what the cost. But he needs to remember why he's able to be with Roberta in the first place. And that's Danielle. I really hope she got something in place. Um, but it looks like to me, now that they know Roberta has gotten to the first part so she can actually, you know, try to really register to get there. Put that shit. First part of K-1 has just gotten approved. 
Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah. America First Park. Yeah. Yeah, approve, yeah. Now she's even more nervous because she's going to come back to America at some point and she might be pregnant. Like I said, I don't want her to get pregnant because that's the devil seed you got in your ass, girl. You don't need that damn seed. Hopefully, Derek's got strong swimmers. <laughs> All he is, he's just lustful. He's lustful. He is not interested in his wife at all you can see from this picture i'm gonna show you did you see that shit and they showed it real quick they sitting on the couch and she's sitting right next to him trying to touch him and he was just so uninterested in it we all just hung out as a family if it had been roberta on the couch he would have been touching her hair he has this fucking thing about her hair he just loves her her hair he loves everything about her he don't want you no more danielle i hope she finds someone else because that's what's up um he, he don't want her He's saying, he's saying he's going to be able to do it. The daddy's like, how are you going to run your business and take care of these two wives? How are you going to do all that? Garrett says he's going to do it. He's going to hope the wives step up. Like, what do you mean? I want to see them come back again. Because I don't think Roberta would be okay with the fact that, wait a minute, you brought me here and I got to work. She ain't going to be trying to work. So I do want her to come. Um, and like I said, I still want her and Danielle to get together so i hope they come back because if she comes to america i want to see how that shit play out they're the one couple i want to see how this shit plays out are you sure you're all on board with it oh yeah well that's all i got I, I, that's it that's it i was an asshole enough um, I did do the handmaid's tell you guys for those who some of you caught it some of you didn't who wanted to see the review but I took it down the next day because I said something that bothered me and, and thank you subscriber I don't remember I, I deleted the video the next day um, I said something that was careless um, especially for the field that I work in the shit was careless you should have thumbs down my damn video is what you should have did I said something about the sex scene about um God, what's her name? June. She uh, she sexually assaulted her husband. And I said, oh, I thought this shit was funny. Not funny. I still think this shit was funny. I can't take that back like it didn't happen. It didn't come out my mouth. I meant that shit. But to say that shit, I should have kept that shit in my head. Because at the end of the day, men do get sexually assaulted. They just don't talk about it. And I know that just from some of the people that I work with. So I, I, I'm not apologizing. I'm just saying... Thank you, subscriber, because you she was nice. She didn't say she was irritated or nothing, but thank you. Thank you, because you made me think about some shit that I said that I need to be, um, I can't keep fucking coming back apologizing every week. So, yeah, I was careless in words. Can't say shit like that. Um, that shit should have stayed inside my head, so that's why I deleted that damn video. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Don't be an asshole. I love you guys. Thank, for, thank you so much for your support, and if you're new, just checking in. I hope you stay. Hope you stay with me, black ass. Um, anyway, anybody been watching our show on WeTV? Uh, good Lord. Something about a poll. I, I'll look it up. I might do a little quick thing on that sometime, maybe this week or next week, just to see if you guys are watching this shit. It's something about a poll. It's about strippers. But not stripper strippers. It's strippers trying to not be strippers anymore. I think it's pretty um, interesting because it, it's, it, it seems like some pretty much real shit to me. That's all I got, and y'all know more. Love you guys. Don't be an asshole. I'm going to forget. So here's Bye. to the top. Here's to the middle. Hopefully we all get a little. Oh, that sounds so dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it is so very nice.